people that have I this whole thing tattooed. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Would you do that? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm not cutting my hair. I don't off. think so. We're going to take a quick break, and I'll be back to you with you in just a moment. Hello, welcome back to the second half of The Awakening. I'm your host, Angela Brown. Today's topic is men have hair too. I have two more gentlemen sitting here with me today who work for the Glen Arden Barbershop. I have Pete on my right, who is a bodyguard, and he looks like a good bodyguard too. And then on my left, I have Warren. How are you doing? How are you doing? You seem very quiet. Doing good. Mm -hmm. You work at the shop? Yes, ma'am. How long? I've been there for two years. Two years? Yes. Do you like it? Yes. Okay, you have a family? Yes. Married? No, ma'am. Well, that's okay, but you still take care of the babies, right? Yes, You're a good baby daddy. Yes, ma'am. That's good. Not like Maury Povich's shows. No. What about you, Pete? I'm married with three kids. You're married have, with three children. Yeah, okay. I have a 20 year old, four, a 17 year old, and three year old. I bet they listen to you as big as you are, don't they? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of life did you have growing up, Pete? Because you've always been a big man, I think. I'm just playing football and basketball. You did? Yeah. I bet you were good at football. Yes, ma'am. Please don't do that. How yeah. do you like working in the barbershop? I love working in the barbershop. It it's seems a like a fun place to be. Yeah, it's a new environment. The environment for me, I just met everybody, you know. Oh, how long have you been in I've only the been crowd? there a month. Well, oh, so you're the baby. Yeah. You're the new kid on the block. Yes, ma'am. Do you like it? Yes. You make any money? Yes. Good. <laughs> Let's go for you. How long have you been there? Two years? No, it's for years. And you don't do ladies' hair? I do huh? do ladies' hair. You do? Yes, do they like having a man do their hair? Yes. What kind of ladies do you have? Older ladies, younger ladies? I have ladies? a variety of ladies. Variety, okay. That's mine. Do you flirt? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> but you're married. I'm not married. You're not married. You just have children without marriage. I, I have two kids. I do have a girlfriend. I have a newborn that's only and two she's weeks old. you hear this say you flirt a lot? That's part, that's part of my job. Oh, part of the persona. It's the trick of the trade. The trick of the trade. Trick so you make a woman feel really, really good. Correct. You get a big fat tip. You know it. No, it sounds like it too, yeah. <laughs> but really, what got you started? Did you cut hair as a young boy? I started cutting my brother hair. And ever since then, I just went for it. I went to school for it and mm -hmm. continued it. Did you go to barber school too? Yes, ma'am. I went to Phelps Career Senior High School. Okay. How long did it take you to get your certificate? Uh, it took four years. Four years? Because it was through a school, apprenticeship school, so. Okay, okay. It was worth the wait, though. Anything that's worthwhile is worth the wait, because you have to work for everything in this life. Nobody gives you nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. If you don't earn it, you don't get it. Unless you go out, I know there's a lot of kids who rob and steal. I go out to the Sheltonham where the kids are incarcerated. I lost a young son to murder. And uh, two inmates were out on parole, and they took him out and stabbed him to death. So now I work in the prisons, and I rehabilitate those kids, and the murderers, too, and get them jobs when they get out. So maybe I'll send some over to the barbershop. Thank you. You're welcome. What about you? <coughs> Family close by here? Your mom, your dad? Um, yes, my mother lives in Hyattsville. I used to live in Hyattsville a long time ago. Yeah, 23rd we're Avenue. Originally from uh, West Virginia. What Charleston, part of West Virginia? West Virginia. My husband's from there. This is a small world. Oh, yeah. yeah, you lived in high school. You go, oh, this is a small <laughs> world. You never know who you're going to run into. Yeah. So, did you? Are you from originally from West Virginia? You said. Yes, I was born and raised in Charleston, West Virginia. That's such a dull place. <laughs> I guess now it's you know, re, you know regrouping, getting yeah. bigger. But I couldn't stand to live in West Virginia. I don't it's like think. Like a ghost town down there, man. Huh? Like yes, it is. Everywhere you go, yeah. maybe see four or five cars on the street or something. And over here, it's always a mad dash like a racetrack. <laughs> and were you raised in this area all the time? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So why did you go about getting your job? Uh, I needed an opportunity. Uh, the owner of the barbershop, Sean, gave you me an opportunity. Somebody to give you a, tr a break. Correct. And uh, he, what, what he did was, I came to him and told him that I wanted, I needed a job, mm -hmm. and he gave me the opportunity to come in and work. And since then, I just took it and ran with it, and was blessed to get that opportunity. Oh yeah, because there's a lot of people out there who don't have jobs. That's my. So you really took to what you do, like a fish takes to water. Have to. You have to. Uh, some yeah. support the family too. Well, you seem like a good supporter. Don't let me hear you cheating on your girlfriend. I don't believe in that. You don't believe in no, it? No, ma'am. Oh, that's good. I hope so. Because <laughs> you won't get many tips in there if you don't. <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> <laughs> I got to show sex for the kids, that's why. Huh? 
got to show my daughters respect. You have to show your daughters respect so they'll grow up and not go out with an abuser. You know it. Yeah. So you have, you've, you've been working here for a month cutting mm -hmm. hair. How long have you been a uh, bodyguard? I've been bodyguard off and off for about 10 years. Oh, you're a big bodyguard. I would never be scared. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have you ever had anyone try to pull a gun on you or a knife nah, on you or anything nah, like that? No, we just had to wrestle though with some guys. That's all. Do you? Did you go to to bars and places like that with bodyguards? No, nah, that's that's what they they do bouncing. I do it down at um, parks, park clubs down in D.C. Oh. over 14th and I Street. Uh huh. It's like an up, upscale um, club, and that's like you know a bunch of guys. Just, we all dress in black. We call really? Men in black. Men in black. Yes, huh? Are there really nice restaurants in that area? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Dance halls, too? Yeah. Because I haven't been down that part of town. I'm kind of afraid. No, nah, it's a good area. It's a good, safe place mm -hmm. to go to dinner and dance yes, and stuff like that? Yeah. Mm. What do you do for fun besides work? And Crack, take care jokes. Of children? Mm -hmm. Crack jokes. Crack jokes. Crack jokes. Okay, tell me a joke and see if you can make me laugh. I'm not that type, type of jokester. I do dirty a lot jokes. Of, I do a lot of impressions. Do you really? A lot Who of impressions. Who can you do? For one, one of my coworkers have Stacey Adams on. Really? <laughs> if we can get up, I will show you the dance. But it's I'm not going to do it. It's not a dance, though. No, it, and this is not the time <laughs> and the place. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just a jokester, though. I, I, I do a lot of joking around in the, in the shop. Mm -hmm. A lot of joking. You seem, and I don't want to put you down, you seem like maybe you're a little bit insecure, so I think the joking all gives you the spirit. No, I'm not insecure. You're not insecure? Okay, no okay, way. I just thought maybe you have the joking that you don't want to show your real side. I think you have a tender side to you. Oh, of course. Every you man do does. No, 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 no. <laughs> Every man doesn't have a tender side. If you're raised by a very close mom, you have a tender side. Um, which I am. You are? Which I am. Your mom and dad still alive? Yes. Okay. And you really enjoy working at the Glen Arden Barbershop, huh? Love it. Would you recommend people go there? Yes, ma'am. That would, that would be the best place to, you know, freedom. You, you, you allowed to enjoy yourself. The, the hard days at work, you calm, cool. Once mm -hmm. you come in there, it's, it's a family oriented barbershop. So okay. you're not losing out from anything. So you have to really watch what you say and do then for the simple reason that it's a family shop. Correct. You can't use profanity, I'm sure. And act, no, ma'am. Act in a way because they won't come back. No, ma'am. You think you're going to stay there? Yes, ma'am. I wish you'd all drop the damn yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> it's respect. It's I know it's respect. I know, I know, and I appreciate that, too. So you're on, you've are you been there a month, and you're going to stay on, because I guess you enjoy it, too. Yes. What kind of haircuts do you do? Do you work on ladies? Yes, I do all types of haircuts and designs. Really? I do the designs, the tattoos. And everything. Now, when you say tattoos, what is, what is a it's tattoo? It's like drawing designs in people, in the customer's hair. In the hair. Anything they want, you know. You Say they want a things. spider. Can you do that? Yeah. What are some of the things they want? Um, they usually want like a, like a couple of weeks ago. I did a um, high heel shoe in the girls' hair. High heel shoe. Time. That's cool. <laughs> and it's just done with the hair. There's no paint in their heads. Mm, no, no. Because I've seen some really wild looks. Like you know, the young girl was just on the show with me. They have spiders cut into their head. One whole side of their head is shaved, and they got hair that comes all down this way. They can't see out of their eye. Yeah, they do that a lot. Do they do that? What is that supposed to emphasize? I don't know. I guess it's some little punk rock thing. <laughs> a punk? It, it seems it's like that. Yeah. yeah. Just like the Mohawks. Like oh, I've like seen a lot of those well. things coming I back, do, too. We do, do a lot too. of them. You do a lot of a Mohawks? Lot of them. And do they, do they change the colors on the top of the hair? I don't do it. Um, we haven't I had any recent. We haven't had any recent, okay. but I'm quite sure it's going to come to the point where you're yeah. going to end up coloring them. But we're, we're, we're willing, you know, mm -hmm. to go forward with it. Well, you have to give the customer what they want. Because if you don't give them to them, they're going to go someplace who will. That's why they stay home with us. That's why they stay with you. you because you have a family place. Is that what you're saying? Yes, I'm sure there's not a lot of vulgarity going on in no. the place or anything no. like that. No, no. You have to keep it clean. Yes. All places should be like that. You know that mm -hmm. at restaurants and everything else. Because you, can, I've been in a restaurant many times. You can hear the F word very prevalent. If something goes wrong, you know. And no, no. You if don't want to have children that have something. Like and I, we, we hmm? get to it. If anything gets out of hand on our shop, we press and we bring it to a halt. You bring it to a halt right yes, there. Have you ever had an argument with the client? No, no, outrageous argument. Mm -hmm. Maybe over football games or something like that. Oh yeah, football yeah. game is dangerous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's dangerous time, especially risking some cowboys. <laughs> yeah. 
Do you ever have anybody give you any complaints about the way you do their hair? No, ma'am. You never have? No. That no. should make you feel good, shouldn't it? it when, you, when you get to that point, then you, you have to feel good about yourself and what you do. You have power. Isn't power great? Great. It takes you anywhere you want to go. And some. That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you a funny little story. I have a great niece. Her name is Keely, and she's seven years old. Mm -hmm. And her mom always kept with these long bangs. So I was at the gym working out one day, and my husband was watching my niece. We come back. She said, cut her hair. She's got the bangs going up and down like this, the sides of little strings. And I mm -hmm. says, Keely, why did you do that? She says, I'm sick and tired of having my hair hang in my face. I can't even eat. <laughs> so when my niece came to pick her up, she passed out. She saw Keely's hair and she just fell over on the floor. She says, I can't believe that child. Mm. So I thought she'd never bring it to my house again. <laughs> but she said to her mother, she says, this is my head, this is my hair, mm -hmm. and I'm going to do what I want to do with it. What do you think about that? Her pain. I mean, it's her choice. I've, I've pulled, I've, I've brought her down some, okay? Her choice. But it's true, she's asked and asked her mother to cut her bangs. And she wouldn't even tell me she had done it. She came down the steps with two big cans of black hair. <laughs> and I said, is that your, no, I just trimmed my doll's hair. I believed her. So I said to my husband, what have you been doing all day? Oh, watching television. <laughs> Left a seven-year-old with hair scissors. <laughs> what do you do when somebody comes in with their head all screwed up and need their hair done? Gotta fix it. But gotta fix can it. you, gotta, can you really fix it? You can fix it. There's a will, there's a way. If there's a will, there's a way. There's a will, there's if a there's way. Okay. Trust and believe. If, if there's patches, there's a way to get mm -hmm. the hair down to the right length uh, and fix it. Do you hair extensions too? Do you do those? I'm not to the hair extensions. I have mm -hmm. not, you know, I'm, I'm learning, You're from, learning from the stylist that's in the okay. shop. So I'm, I'm, you know, I'm trying to learn. You can't know everything. You nah. know that you st I'm still learning in my life. You can't know everything. Do you prefer ladies or guys? Guys, you ladies, ladies, ladies okay, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> well, I went to college to this school a long time ago. Did you go a long time ago? I can't believe that someone in your size and everything want to go to college. Did your kids make fun of you or anything like that? <laughs> They're too damn scared, aren't they? Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you may tie a couple of knots on them. <laughs> what would you like to leave as a final word around here today. I've had fun with all of you, by the way. I've really Thank enjoyed you. having you here. When the card came in the mail, I saw it and I said, I got to do this show. I just have to do this show about the Glen Arden, you know, shop. And when, especially when I saw all the heads on the front of this thing, it was just really, really good. I'm glad I got to have all of you come on. And it seems like our time has come to an end. I think we're going to get together for a guest picture. But I want to thank you for coming. Thank I've you. had so much fun with you. I've had a lot thank of you. fun with you. Your hands as cold as mine. <laughs> yeah. I want to thank everybody for watching. Until next time.